they have cut their uh, base lending rates to 19 and a half percent. Mr. Diliraj, thank you very much uh, for joining us. Uh, uh, just take us through this decision. Uh, in spite of this f uh, uh, cut in the lending rates, will you be able to maintain the margins that you maintained in the first half? Uh, sir, good morning. Thanks for having us. Certainly, because the way this operates is there is an operating spread cap of 10 percent stipulated by RBI. Our cost of borrowing has been steadily declining. If you look at marginal cost of borrowing, that's come down from 13.6% to 11.3% last quarter. And in, in October, November, we have started issuing commercial papers at 9.5%. Mudra loan came at 10%. So actually, the marginal cost of borrowing for Q3 and Q4 would be much lower than 11.3%. Since we are only passing on the reduction which we have already got, that too with the lag effect, okay. absolutely uh, uh, you know, no issue about margin. We have given a guidance of 290 crore pad for this year. We stick to that. Okay, so you t stick to your 290 crore profit guidance, but can you give us any indication of how lower the cost of borrowing could be in the second half? You've done 11.3 in quarter two. Uh, for the second half of the year, what could it be? Yeah, as I said, you know, if you if the, the mudra loan at 10, refinance at 10 percent has helped us a lot, and you know, we've issued commercial paper at 9.5 percent, and as you know, we start doing securitization in Q3 and Q4. And my guess is most of that would be at sub-10 level. So there could be actually a 1% reduction in our cost of borrowing from 11.3 to somewhere around 10.3 on a marginal cost basis for Q3 and Q4. Okay. How does loan growth look like in the second half? And uh, can you give us some indication of FY17 will pan out? Yeah. See, the loan growth also, we have given a guidance of 50% for the AUM growth, up from 4,171 crores last year to 6,250 crores. Normally, Q3 and Q4 are, you know, the demand peaks during those two quarters for microfinance, like any other part of the financial services segment. So we're confident of a 50% growth in disbursement and AUM. And you would have seen today that uh, Reserve Bank of India has... Uh, uh, relaxed, given us a dispensation and enhanced the threshold limit for a two-year loan yes. from 15,000 to 30,000. So that also augurs well for increasing ticket size even in IGL-1 and IGL-2. We had to take a decision in terms of how much ticket size increase would be there, but certainly we would increase the ticket size because this 15,000 limit was set five years back. So with all that buoyancy that has gone into the rural markets, so certainly even if we catch up with inflation, 25 to 30 percent upward revision of the ticket size, you know, has to be done. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, will this be a game changer, this uh, raising the limit? Uh, it is. Certainly, uh, it is certainly very helpful because the ticket size can go up for even first and second tranche of transactions. So as the ticket size grows apart from, you know, what really happens is demand generation is not an issue. But as the ticket size grows, your operating cost could further come down. We Even our operating cost has been steadily declining from 75% two years back to 61% and 52% and 47% last quarter. As you increase the ticket size, the operating cost in percentage terms would come down. Okay. Uh, well, there's just one more issue that I wanted to clarify with you personally, uh, uh, Mr. Dili Raj. Uh, there was uh, your name mentioned in the case of first leasing uh, by the CBI. Uh, is that matter now cleared? Is there any update that you can give us? No, I, I have issued a public statement on that, uh, yes. personal statement. Yes. So I have nothing more to add and I stick to that. All right, we'll leave it at that. Mr. Dili Raj, thank you very much for joining us uh, with all those details. So SKS on course to do better than perhaps uh, their own guidance.